so guys welcome to the part 32 of this playlist this uh, you see this one this one is the youtube handle of this channel you can look for playlist videos shorts and so on so if you have not yet subscribed please do so so many people have cleared their certifications the way this channel is structured is a lot of people usually ask us can you also publish training content so you try to train using the questions itself that is a unique way of learning because you may do as much net practice but unless you face the real balls like in cricket if you don't face the real baller you cannot uh, succeed in the actual match so we give you that real uh, we take you through the real questions we try to solve those we teach you the concept how we are uh, solving these and arriving at the right answers so there is a link in the description there is a link in the description you can click it become a cloud kernel member a lot of questions will be posted for members only the free content plus the paid content can be used together to elevate your chances of clearing the certification exams now let us look at the question see we have a ec2 instance this yellow box this is the ec2 instance and this blue box this is the systems manager okay now systems manager they have secured strings stored in them and ec2 instance is trying to get this secured string from systems manager see parameter store it stores the secured string now this is a very good documentation you can read this uh, pause it and read it in a nutshell what it is telling is you can have two types of parameters either these can be plain text parameters or encrypted parameters so the name would be plain text but their values would be encrypted parameter values okay and parameter store it uses kms to encrypt and decrypt when we say encrypted parameter value how does it encrypt oh, it's obvious in the aws world boss please listen in the aws world kms is the de facto way of encrypting and decrypting so here also systems manager will use kms to encrypt the parameter value and decrypt the parameter values okay see take this example a girl tried to call a boy okay let me reverse it because this never happens a boy tries to approach a girl okay this is real life scenario man. this channel is all about real things man i could have given you an example a girl is trying to approach a boy but i know it never happens in real world in india it will never happen okay so it's a reverse now if a boy is trying to approach a girl and the problem here is when this guy tries to approach it fails that is what this question is saying when it tries to access the secure key value it fails it fails means what what may go wrong the boy tried to call the girl the girl's father picked the phone he heard the boy's noise or voice and he disconnected for for him it was not voice for him it was noise he disconnected so that means you do not have permissions man her dad is not giving you permission so the, what is the problem you don't have permissions so this is the problem okay the ec2 instance role does not have read permission to parameter store so this guy ec2 is trying to read but here permissions are not there the father is saying boss who are you why are you trying to call my daughter you are screwed up so this can be one reason that permission is not there okay but we have to choose two reasons what can be possible a second reason what can be that you second scenario 
boy calls the girl the girl picks it up the boy talks in english the girl does not know english okay the boy talks in english the girl does not know english what is this problem encryption decryption problem okay it does not have decrypt permissions so this can also cause an issue so this is my second answer okay now you might say hey why not c so what c is telling c is telling that when it is trying to encrypt the values the parameter values it is not able to talk to kms you see a documentation told it will talk to kms to encrypt and decrypt okay so option c is like the girl is trying to talk to her cousin and she is not able to talk because why will this boy care the boy wants to talk to the girl within the girl's family somebody is not able to talk to the uncle somebody is not able to talk to the cousin why do you care so this is not even linked to your problem boss so c is wrong now d c we are talking about parameters okay this guy here is talking about kms it is like the boy wants to talk to the girl the boy is not looking to talk to the girl's uncle kms is the girl's uncle okay we are not looking to talk to the uncle here so do not change the topic now e e says instance does not have tags associated you know why tag is used it has no use no meaningful use so tag you know somebody says in the college hey that guy is a loser that guy is a stud okay that guy is able to impress any girls these are just tags in real life this loser can be a winner some day people may think he is a loser but actually inside he may be a winner you don't know you just are in your own world thinking that this guy is a loser okay so tags don't have any value so in this case also tags will have no value tags are just used to understand resources tags but why do we use for example you have two ec2 instances who are using it who are the users finance team to tag and say finance team or finance department are using this you have to rds database it team uses it so you tag it and say hey these are it team resources you create a tag boss simple that is the only purpose so these two are my final answers now let us look at this next question here see in this case users are reporting intermittent availability of a web application that means the web application sometimes goes down sometimes it is up so when you try to understand why this is happening you are seeing that some abnormal network traffic it is followed by high cpu utilization that means suddenly some uh, say 100000 people tried accessing it immediately due to which your cpu utilization is very high this cpu this utilization cpu utilization this becomes very high now how to help in this scenario you have to choose two answers see this problem is happening for the web tier application web tier you see this this is web tier so the first thing thumb rule whenever you think that somebody goes into your apartment and a light is on in spite of you locking it that means there is an intrusion my friend there is an intrusion here also there is an intrusion somebody coming and raising the network traffic they want your system to get down possibility okay so you should put a intrusion software this one ids it will block first of all see what it will do it will monitor and see if any such unusual behavior is there if yes it will block so your cpu utilization will not go high and your application will be still up and running so no downtime see why we don't want downtime any understanding why we don't want downtime because downtime means loss of business if you go to amazon.com now and it is down so you will imme immediately go to flipkart.com 
we we lost your amazon.com lost your business so that is something which is not required now it is just only you doing it but at the same time there might be a thousand more people who have accessed amazon and they move to a different website so amazon lost business there no they don't want to lose downtime is not desired at all the second thing you have to do is you use cloud front distribution and put wav rules to protect from malicious traffic okay this is the second answer so this will help your application from common exploits common exploits can be uh, sql injection or cross site scripting so wav a is wrong f is not for that purpose a is wrong now c is telling that you configure security groups so see through security groups you can say these ips i will allow them to access these ips i will not allow that you can do but imagine amazon.com there are so many bad players so you cannot you don't know their ips right so how will you uh, put them you cannot okay and then antivirus see this is not a virus this is uh, a concentrated attack this is not a virus so why we need antivirus and e is telling that you use vpc use default vpc for external facing systems to actively block network traffic that effect is to actively block but how boss is this this solution is so incomplete how how are you going to do that these two solutions look more complete see this question the next one it is referring classic load balancer nowadays you will not get questions on classic load balancer so imagine the same question uh, if they use alb or something of that sort so you can take this as a homework and the answer would be this option b so you can use custom security policy uh, that allows perfect secrecy cyber suits so if you have not subscribed yet do so please uh, it will help me increase the subscriber base of this channel and at the same time it will help you also in understanding lot of concepts so we do not create training videos we just try to solve questions and that through those questions the process of solving we explain the concepts and that is a training itself this is the youtube handle of this channel you can look out for so many playlists on aws azure google cloud snowflake and different types of certification not just one certification different types of certifications like i always say that you should focus on not only uh, very basic certifications like cloud practitioner but you should look for intermediate and advanced certifications then only your cv will command respect and uh, you would be able to do justice to the role in the cloud world so by the way there is a link in the description you can become a cloud kernel member the free content plus the paid content together will help you elevate your chances of clearing the certification this brings us to the end of part 32 stay tuned stay focused see you in the next part